Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 12. When we left the plane, we were parked up in Latvia, and today I've got a little surprise for you. It's a Boeing 737-700. And as with normal, we have our learned colleague, Adam, with us. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Adam. Adam. Yes, I'm saying hello. You weren't. Your mic wasn't saying anything. Oh, well. <laughs> I've been, I've known, been known a few times to be tone deaf, but I don't think I was that deaf. Right. Cool. So planes all set up, ready to depart as usual. But I just thought I found this in my uh, plane files. So why not? Let's have the 737-700 out. Little short hopper. Uh, the only issue with this plane is not really got a good livery for where we are, but hey, never mind. Fictionally, Scandinavian have decided they're going to do this route. So with that said, we are ready already to depart, so we'll just get straight into it. Uh, one little bit of uh, house maintenance to change, which is our route. So let me just quickly change our route. And then uh, we will taxi off down to meet Adam. Uh, EVRA to Estonia. Um, Okay. Okay. <laughs> I went on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I sh swear it's like every time I hit that record button. Right, let's get flats five so I don't forget myself. Right, let's get the ha park brake off and let's start our taxi down we do not need a pushback tug again is this uh, air for oh my god are you gonna turn okay the plane is not going to turn hold on guys I know what that is I've not been in this plane so it means it's not set for uh, the right setting. one second customize hardware yep thought so a while I'm here and I've now noticed that that's not working let's turn that on that on our auto throttle engage lock and everything parking brake will move yeah that can come on right if there's anything else we'll deal with it in flight right let's go now the wheels are actually turning And let me turn the sounds up from the plane. So it was turned down a bit too low because the other plane's quite loud. So we were in last video. Okay. Let's taxi down to meet Adam. So because it's such a short plane, it can actually taxi out of its own parking space without needing a pushback tug. So we filed the route plan this time and the plane is completely set up so so far Eddie nothing yet to find out what I've missed although I wouldn't be surprised if I had Did you just log off? No, my ex-pilot just disconnected Oh So can I? If ever a plane looked a little bit weird, it's this one. The wings don't look right, the tail looks so out of proportion for the size of the, the little plane. There is the 700. 
there's our learned colleague over there. Looking at this runway. Yeah, we can definitely go in on this one here. In this little bubba. Little bubba plane. One this time, boy. Well, there's always a hope. Oh my lord! My <laughs> <laughs> God! I mean, literally. Approaching one eight. You're on loudspeaker now, Izzy. So be careful what you say. Okay. Okay. All right, onto the runway. On runway one eight. Okay, cool. The twentieth. Well, today's the fourteenth, I think. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, indeed. Yeah. All right, let's put it on heading mode for the initial departure. Cool. Next Monday. Next Monday, yeah. Okay, flaps five. Okay, everything looks okay. I haven't mistakenly forgotten anything. We're going to 200, I think I said. Let's just set the altitude to 200. That's all good and all set. RTO is correct. Flaps are correct. Auto throttle is on, so we are ready for push. Okay, let me just get the runway lights on, taxi lights off. Cool. Uh, altitudes checked and verified. Cool. All right. Just turn the TCAS on. There we go. Cool. Right. Yoke forward. And we'll be at up the speed. On runway one Over. eight. On runway one eight. Short little bubby plane, it's already up. Landing gear up. Okay. 400. 400 check. We're already going to start our turn. It's quite a quick turn out today. So we'll hand fly it for a moment. That's why we're bringing it around ourselves. 1000 check. Just have a quick snoop here as it's coming out.
Okay, you're, re you're good to depart. I don't know if you already have. Oh, right, now I have. I was waiting for you. No, no, that's a good, no, that's a good gap. I'm up at 7,000 feet climbing out. Cool. Oh, I'm Okay, just passing through 11,000. Okay, so we've got the wheels up, landing gears up, everything's good. After takeoff, complete. Let's just check the flight plan, make sure everything's looking good on there. And it is, there's no inconsistencies as a vector, but not until after. So that's good. It's going to be another short flight, guys. Uh, but the treat with that is that we've got a long flight coming up in the next video. So, a couple of short videos for you, and then uh, episode uh, 13, unlucky for some, will be a longer, lo much longer video, as we've got to jump from Estonia back down to Germany, flying over countries we've, we've already visited, basically. Yeah, I'm fine off to taking off. Just a little restricted 2,000 feet. That's a go. Did you put your cruise altitude up? Oh, yeah, that's too high. <laughs>
there, there's no way. Even that's too high, I think.
Do, 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 do. He's all right. He's find him a bit too happy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
so I'll let it carry on descending it just does seem like it's descending a little bit too high like I'm down to 6,000 feet but then I'm seeing a waypoint of 2,200 feet ahead of me so I'm not sure why the VNAV's not picking up on that shut up explain this is that's what happened to me last time yeah and it's trying to do the same to me as well disconnect me saying that I'm running I had to look quickly look down at the chair. I don't know why your FPS gets so low. Oh, me neither, mate. My my FPS is like eight, and I'm on max setting. I don't know either. I can, I can only assume it's because I'm I, I've got things open and it's not happy about it. It's now going to disconnect me. But my FPS is tanked. It's literally tanked, and I don't know why. Whether it's the recording equipment, there you go, I've been disconnected now. And my screen has gone horrid. <sighs> it's like it's loading it it's loading in scenery and it's guts the guts the, the stream. But it's not scenery I've got, so I don't know why it does it. I've got no scenery here. So I don't know what it is. It's something, it's something that's running. I'm just going to turn off uh, the weather. Yeah, it was the weather. Because as soon as I've disconnected the weather, the active sky, everything's oh, recovered right. itself. So it was the weather that's doing it. It's putting in so many clouds and that that it's just causing an absolute tanker of the. Of everything. Right, we're doing fine. Everything's okay. So at least now we know what it was. I can reach connect to the network. It's, it, it's the weather. Active weather. Sending again. Yeah, it's fine. It's not. It's not the ex-pilot. Okay. So we're descending fine. Start getting some more speed off, 220. But we've got altitude, we've got time. I do think it's time to stick another graphics card in my uh, computer just to run the additional monitors so that my one graphics card could just run the game. Yeah, what card have you got now? Uh, I've, got, to go. I've, I've got a 2070 Super running at the moment because obviously I had the issue with the other one. Oh, um, right, yeah. Which luckily I kept as a backup, but it, like I say, it's, it's, all, it, it's struggling to run the four monitor setup. Although one monitor runs through its own graphics card directly plugged into a hub still struggles big time okay coming up That's to our turn so I'm just gonna adjust the heading let it run out a little bit and then come in just so that I don't know I think it's all right it's, I'll, let, I'll let it stick with the flying plan I'll keep the heading mode there just in case. We're down to 200 knots now, so just be careful you don't charge into the back of me. Trying to control my speed as much as I can. Half the descent, I mean, what? Yeah, it's not easy, is it? No. 
Use your speed brake. I never hear I you am. ever suffer. Yeah. I know you probably are, yeah, but I use the speed brake a lot when I'm coming through the descents, and it really does help keep the plane from racing out of control. We're doing good. We're down to 190 knots. We're at 2,200. Uh, let's activate the ILSs. So let's switch those over. One and two. Course headings are already programmed in. We're 12 miles out. So we're fine. Let me bring up that and just confirm that the heading is 261. It is. So we're all good. We are going to swing straight onto the ILS though. It's going to be very tight. Tight like a tiger. Well, as long as we're not below it, we should be okay. Do you are, I'm running now. It, I've gone into the clouds. I'm, I'm down to 45 FPS. And it keeps saying X playing more. It's because frame rate's low. Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. Yeah, yeah, I've just been disconnected, but my frame rates aren't low. It's definitely gotten a lot worse since they brought out Velocity. I don't recall it ever being as bad as this. Uh, we'll go brakes one on this one. Okay, we're above the ILS. We're turning for the heading, turning for the runway. So we'll go for laps five now. We're locking onto the ILS. Everything's good and clean. Yeah, I've turned my settings right down to 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 give myself more FPS, but it's obviously wow. taking from that. It's taking the game away from what it looks like or could look like. Which doesn't improve. It doesn't improve my enjoyment of the game. So when I'm not streaming and I I don't care about the disconnections and whatever, I turn my rate my settings back up for when it's just me on my own. But still, the price. I mean, I'd get another 2070, but the prices are ridiculous, and I'm not spending 800 pound on a on a graphics card that cost me 300. No. When the prices um, were realistic. Well, I spent four, over 400 on mine. Yeah. Fine. Okay, let's get the landing gear down. Runway lights can come on. One second. Descending 160. Just going to keep connecting me. I don't know why my frame rate's fine. We're coming into land. Everything's set. Flaps are set for 30. Everything's looking good. I'll see you on the ground. 1,000. 1,000 feet stabilized, Mr. Birch altitude set.
Approaching two six. That was quite a nice landing in the end. This plane really does respond well. We'll have a look at it and see what it was uh, like, but it, was, it felt pretty good. My ex pilot just keeps connecting. Disconnecting? Yeah. Frame rate flavor, it's not. It's been fine since I turned off the active sky. But until I turned off that active sky, it was tanking like horribly and if it's tanking on my screen it must have looked bad in the video so anyway guys welcome to Estonia um, so have you disconnected still yeah I mean once we come out of the clouds hopefully but I don't I don't understand it my FPS is like 45 so what's like the QNH? I have no idea, I didn't have any. I just came in yeah. on, on what we left with because I had no clouds. I had, I had no weather. So I just came in with what was standard. Okay guys. Uh, we'll do the replay. And we'll have a look. Both of us having issues there. It's not like we've both got excellent scenery that we were having to load in. I know for a fact I didn't have any scenery other than what's in X-Plane, so... I don't rightly know what happened there. I'll turn these sounds down before we do this. And then we'll take a look at this arrival. And... Let's have a look. Felt alright. Felt good, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
Reverse is engaged nicely. Not quite down the centre line, but not far off it, so... Certainly happy enough with that one. Always room for improvement, I say. Have a look from inside. Yeah. Not bad landing at all. Yeah, that tower view's not much cop, is it? We'll see if it picks me up, but I don't think it's going to be much cop this tower view. There seems like a lot of trees in the way. Yeah, there is a lot of trees. So I'll just line us up, and then I'll try the runway view. So that one is about as much much cop as uh, <coughs> anything. I reconnect. You've reconnected. Yeah. Right. How far are you out? Uh, I'm coming in now. Oh, I'm going to explain. X Pilot's having it for. Has it disconnected you again? Said it. Told me. Is it worth yeah, reconnecting? I am connected. Yeah, I said, is You'll it worth. seeing me. Okay. Let me have reconnect. Worth and see. reconnect. Oh. What? Uh, Alright, we got I've got you. We can see your landing. As long as you stay connected. Well my FPS is nine so nine? Ninety. Oh, 90. Bloody hell. That's not a bad FES. Have you been telling it no to the updates? Maybe we both need to update it, because mine's definitely asking for an update. Uh, no, I've updated. That's looking good, looking good. Bit of... Uh, one wheel action going on there, but otherwise it's nice. Don't know why that happened. Alright. This it could be just the way it looks on well on the way I'm watching you. Okay guys, welcome to Estonia. So um the next episode's a long flight. So you've had two short ones and then tomorrow's, uh, uh, the next episode will be a long flight as we go from Estonia back down to Germany uh, with uh, A350s or 787s, so that's something different to look forward to. Won't get too many options to use the big birds, but uh, we will do for that one. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. We're just watching as Adam's taxiing in. Um, normal service will resume in the next video I know it's been really short on this one but you know sometimes the short videos are just just good too you need a couple of short videos occasionally um, so they're not too long make sure you uh, definitely hit the subscribe button guys that would be really good and uh, we'll see you on the next video indeed I have blown and, a tyre. <laughs> and you've blown a tyre? Oh, wow. Don't know how. It's an auto land. Oh, you even had it in auto land? Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Right, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Have fun. Have a good day.